So makikita natin ko ano ang uh, mangyayari. And it's always must-see basketball. And you catch uh, Montalvo's eyes got to be wide open because of this type of situation that he's in right now. But I'm sure he's up to the challenge now. Kapag not missing, pero ando si Santos. His favorite shot, that jumper by the free throw line. Against the number one defense in TNT. Junmar? Well, uh, what that sends a message is to Junmar Pardo, you're not comfortable guarding him, nor you're not up to the task. Right now, 8 to 2 and naman ng TNT. And I'm thought about it. Again, you know. Malaking bagay yung mga tira sa labas ni Poy Eram. That guard combo to the guard combo of San Miguel Beer. You're looking at Chris Ross. Uh, and this is one of the things that... It's Montalvo. Kip going for very, the reverse. Very good move. Very good move. And pick and roll action against Jumar Fajardo. And Montalvo is able to attack. On uh, his bench is a coach who has been leading him. Troy Rosario, something Troy does so well is he's always early to work. Transition opportunities like those. Now that breaks an eight to nothing silence. You want to play him straight up if you're going to play him man to man, but you can see right off the bat that the help is always coming by TNT. And there you see Junmar. He's fine, and he's out here drawing the defense. And there it is. Oh, Fajardo, that's the third. Yes, uh, it, definitely. Oh, Castro finding the littlest of spaces. And it was all he needed to finish through the foul. All those statistics that I mentioned ju just now, points off of turnovers, fast break points, these are some of the categories that you... How to uh, you know, TNT's defense yes. has been on full display here. Williams with a stride step. Not so much Terrence Romeo and uh, and CJ Perez because they're a little bit younger, but I'm talking about guys like Chris Ross. They can put the ball in his hands. He dances with Eruela and then finds a way from his home or wherever he was, wishing he could be there to help his team. Well, he's definitely here now to contribute. Let's take a look at uh, you know, Kabontian gets the ball stripped, and then off the fast break, Terrence Romeo sets up CJ Perez. And after 12 minutes of action, TNT Tropangiga on top in this game, 19 to 17. Here's a little bit of that dribble drive offense that Coach Chot likes to run. Castro Bigay nice for boys. Or winners of the perpetual Philippine Cup trophy. Castro steps into a three. San Miguel gusto ng pumunta sa ilalim. It's Tautua against Marcelo. You see the help coming from Pogoy, but now they attack. Perez na iwasan yung depensa ni Pogoy. There's really nothing that R.R. Pogoy could have done there. Fajardo. There's the help coming from Rosario. Naagaw ni Kabagnot. Alex. And you see the worry of TNT about Junmar, about oh, yes. Motautua, and that's why... Which is going to be very, very difficult as this series goes on. I think TNT... Oh, nice pass. Oh, Eram, beautiful fake as well, and he gives a stare down. Um, now, you see Coach Leo made that adjustment. He took Motautua out, brought in Arwin Sound, which can cause more difficulty for the defense of TNT. And Castro, no one there. Anim pa rin ang ng TNT. Under five minutes to go in the second quarter. Kabagnot attacking the defense. Take that ball inside. Well, they're not shooting the ball well, period. Look at this, though. Mikey Williams, the drop pass to Rosario. Um, those numbers are going to bump up as this game progresses, Judge. Montalvo from deep. And Romeo getting away that time. Nakakuha ng layup si Terrence. That was a nice pass. It sort of faked everybody out by Chris Ross. See them already banging bodies down low. Romeo out to Ross. Wide open. Chris Ross knocks down the three. 
Four points para kay Chris Ross. And he gets the block there on the William shot. Romeo on the run. Terrence, lavas dito kay CJ Perez. Perez able to get it. And this play, of course, all because of the defense by Chris Ross. When Mikey Williams tried to attack, Chris Ross made that nice block. 50, 40 points from one guy because no, they have a lot all. of guys who can give them 50 to 20 points a game. Perez left open. And that will be the end of the first half. Maganda yung naging run ng SMB towards the end of the second quarter, but it was only enough to get within one. And that was supposedly TNT solution. Get Mo Tautua and Troy Rosario, and we can probably match up with Fardo. Yeah, it, it. Long rebound goes into the hands of Cabagnon, and Ross creating some space, Whoa. but he missed on the point blank layup. Ito naman si Pogoy. Susubukan ang defensa ni Fajardo. Hindi pa rin natin masyado nararamdaman si Marshall and Mikey Williams, finally. You see that full court pass. Teruela. And <laughs> Williams almost lost it too. Lost the ball. <laughs> Fajardo. That's, and that's a big I mean, boy I mean, move. And look at this, Ali. I mean, that's how strong he is. I think one of Coach Chotres' options is maybe get Ali Peak to unretire yeah, and match well, him up with Jumar. But throughout this game, Dikit na dikit itong dalawang teams na to. Pogoy trying to widen the gap. You see the help coming from Pogoy. Swing it. Lasseter open from deep. Here and there knocking down 10 three-pointers in, in one game. This one was perfect. This is perfect. That's a beautiful seal. That's actually textbook style if you're going to seal your man on the other side. Ito ngayon si Williams. Out to Pogoy. Pogoy down the middle. Oh, and Perez gets his revenge. Inatake niya in defense ni Marcelo. Now, that was the block. Ito naman yung gante ni CJ Perez getting the end one opportunity. But San Miguel tried to still uh, stay on their attack with their big to big. Mikey Williams finally. Kobunti, nakataka sa depensa. And San Miguel has been turning the ball over. They've been sloppy on offense. Ryan wow. Reyes working some magic. We will take charge. It started with the three, mula kay Mikey Williams. And then Kobunti with the layup. Castro with his layup. And then this dipsy do coming from Ryan Reyes. Tautuwa, nagahanap ng malulusutan kay Troy Rosario. Pero ando na naman yung help defense. There might be a lack of communication as Castro explodes to the basket. Well, what's happening is Jason Castro is doing a good job of anticipating Walt Tautuwa's move. And Walt Tautuwa is leaving himself wide open. Romeo. Gets the ball back. Rosario na sa harap niya. Terrence shoots over the D. Wow. Bottom of the net. Because they were already falling into a ditch. Castro, you and kay Rosario. Beautiful pass. Beautiful. Entering the fourth quarter, TNT will take an 11 point lead, 71 to 60. Kabagnot attacking using the glass. Dito naman sa TNT, they're running. It's Castro with the basketball, leaving Beautiful it up for Cabundin. Well, as long as he keeps making the right decisions out there, then he's fine. You know, it's 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 not so much to just keep. Williams sends it out to Pugoy. R R wow. off the glass. But now they're looking for Junmar. You see Williams getting ready to help, but that allowed Lasseter. And then of course the explosion by R R Pugoy. Pogoy. Oh, he's feeling it. He is on fire right now. San Miguel has not really been able to draw closer than this eight point ball chase down by Kobuntin. And that's another thing, too. You know, this is something that TNT has been doing very, very well. Fajardo, Pupuntan, Sailalim. 
Marcelo pa rin nakaharap sa kanya. And Junmar, you see him try to reach. He did it twice. And when he did that, Junmar Fajardo could feel that. There's the one, there's the reach there. And he practically gave up the baseline. The question really is, kailan ibabalik ni Coach Shot? Ito si Poy Eram. Sabi ni Jason Castro, kahit maya-maya na. <laughs> yeah, but he, he yeah. can lead, right? And he has the respect of his teammates. He has the respect of his teammates, absolutely. Lasseter hits wow. a big three from the corner. He makes the first one. Ito yung magandang ball movement ng SMB leading to that three-pointer for Marshall. Coming up on three minutes left to play here. Fajardo. You see Pogoy getting ready to help. Junmar erasing the defense of Troy. Which is very, very uh, difficult to do without getting uh, called for an offensive foul. Especially someone of his size. Eran finds a way. Tatlo laman ng TNT. Pogoy gustong dagdaga. Wow. R.R. Pogoy. Another big shot by R.R. Pogoy. And for TNT, that's a nice pick set up by Poy Eram to free up R.R. Pogoy. And R.R. Pogoy doesn't settle for a jumper. He attacks Chris Ross. Look at Pogoy defying gravity. Goes up, challenges the defense of Ross. Perez will finish at the cup. Jason Castro, no! Rebound by Ross. Sam Miguel has an opportunity here. And Perez will deliver the deuce. Ito yung long rebound ni Ross. And medyo delikado pa yung pasa niya, Ali. It was almost taken away, but just slipped through the fingertips of Jason Castro and allowed CJ Perez to get the, this layup. 89-88 is our final score. TNT draws first blood dito sa semifinal series nila against San Miguel Beerman.